I was in the detention center and there were like a lot of bad things around me. I was in like kind of a, a rough situation. And then being locked up, I was freaking out because I'm not used to being away from home. So I was like, oh my God, I cannot be in here. Like this is not like the place I want to be in my life. The Girl Scouting in the Detention Centers program is where we actually provide Girl Scout programs in detention centers within Harris County. Our curriculum changes every year. They're based on contemporary issues that teenage girls, adolescent girls are facing. And we try to gear it a little bit more specifically to the population of girls that is in the juvenile detention center. They may not come from two-parent households. They are, tend to be low income and sometimes they're dealing with deep emotional and physical abuse that they've encountered before they were in the detention centers. At the Girl Scouts, do we hate boys? No! no. <laughs> so I want to be real clear that we're not anti-boy, but we are, um, for the purposes of today, we're trying to teach y'all more about the value of sisterhood. What do I mean when I say I want you to, to believe in sisterhood? What is sisterhood? One of the biggest accomplishments that Girl Scouting and Detention Centers in San Jacinto Council has accomplished is a really close working relationship with the Harris County Juvenile Probation Department. I work with the Venture Crew Program, the Girl Scout Program, and the Color Guard Program here at the Harris County Youth Village. Ms. Angie and Ms. Vanessa, we all have a lot of high energy about what we want the girls to see about life and adventure and understanding what, you know, being a girl is a positive thing. And that's what I love about the Girl Scout uh, program for the girls is because I believe in teaching them that, that girls have power. And by the time that they leave here, we hope that they've had enough tools to take with them to help them when they face the real challenges without us. Our motto of my life is I love to love and I try to give them um, yeah, and I don't want to get emotional, but I try to give them that every day, no matter what I'm challenged with. Um, greet them with smiles, letting them know that they are someone. Every day is a new day, and that we try to start it off as positive as we possibly can. Welcome to Girl Scouts. We're happy to have you. I used to be a Girl Scout when I was young, and so when they said we want to have a Girl Scout program out here again, I'm like, hey, yes, let's go for that. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's awesome because it's an incentive program for us out here. Kids have to work hard to be part of this program. We have girls who, who learn to understand that it's not just about themselves, it's about serving their community as well, who become more productive and motivated so that they can remain a Girl Scout and remain in the program. Because when they get home, things at home may not have changed. Things in school may not have changed and the society may not have changed. And they have to be strong enough, independent enough to realize I have to take these tools that I've learned while I'm here at the youth field and take them with me and not forget them. One of the things that I hope that they take away from us is having that confidence. Having that confidence in order for them to kind of go out back into their daily life is important because they have to now make decisions about are they going to step back into the life that got them into the detention centers or are they going to kind of deal with different issues with themselves emotionally. We tell all the girls that when they are released that they can contact us and we will help them get involved in some way with Girl Scouts. One of them um, was Latrice. So we sung uh, acapella song. Miss Angie, when I met her, I was in the detention center. For them to still like come and like with the community outreach still go to jail. So I'm like, hey, yeah, you're a Girl Scout now. We're gonna give you, like get you registered for free. And then they still like believe that even though you've made some bad decisions, you can still be a Girl Scout. Like you can turn it around and do something good. So I was like, yeah, like, that was, that was pretty cool to me. So we signed up for a, um, a camper ship and I got it. And I was like, whoa, like this is really happening. I also tell the girls that when they come, 
um, they will award, be awarded their Girl Scout membership pen because we're not allowed to give that to them uh, while they're incarcerated. That was really one of the most special moments uh, with um, Latrice is that she was so excited to receive her pen and really feel a part of this um, organization. She told me she was never going to take that pen off. Um, and so that was really kind of a very special day for all of us. When most people think of Girl Scouts, they think of like goody two shoes and cookies. And I've seen like a totally different side of that now. Like it's just like, nope. We keep positive attitudes. We try to keep everybody happy, everybody participating. It makes you a better person, I believe. Like, I think like all Girl Scouts are good people.